Hey, Gopher fans, it's Mike Grimm from Gopher Sports Radio and gophersports.com, and this is Gopher Talk. It's presented by Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union, committed to the safety of their members, employees, and communities during this time. Learn more at affinityplus.org. And the Big Ten Player of the Week on offense is Muhammad Ibrahim for the Minnesota Golden Gophers, and he makes a return trip to Gopher Talk, his second visit with us uh, here from uh, – he was in with us earlier this summer. Mo, good – to see you the big 10 offensive player of the week how does that feel nice to see you thank you for having me um uh, it feels good uh knowing that uh the whole offense is getting credit for this um you know we had we had a great game uh but it's time to move on you had back-to-back 200 yard rushing games of course in your home state of maryland uh to start this uh, two-week stretch and then uh in in illinois uh this past saturday now you got the hawkeyes coming in this week uh, before we preview the Hawkeyes, I did want to ask you about uh, 41 carries and I think 30 carries. That's a that's a, a good workload. How's your body holding up here the last two weeks? Uh, you know, my body's feeling good. Um, I I think that the the training staff is giving me uh, uh, some some good tips uh, on how to maintain my body. Um, you know, I, I've been getting in the cold tubs, hot tubs, uh, the the recovery room, the recovery suite. Um, you know, I got I got different tools here to help me out. Um, I'm getting my body back together, and uh, I'll be ready for Iowa. You mentioned uh, that it's good that the team's getting recognized as part of this. If there was one play, I think that kind of exemplifies uh, the teamwork that that involves a guy getting 200 yards. It was that rugby scrum style uh, touchdown you had right before halftime uh, on Saturday afternoon. Um, if you would walk me through from the start of that play, and obviously you started in the backfield, and how you ended up five yards deep into the end zone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, um, I remember that uh, somebody shot their gap, um, got through clean. Uh, I had to sidestep them. Uh, and then uh, I was stuck between me, Blaze, and the goal line, I believe. Um, so I had to just put my head down. And, uh, uh, and I think I got stood up for like a hot second, uh, start driving my feet, and then uh, everybody started coming. Uh, you know, it was a second there where I was lifted off the ground um, uh, and just dangling in the air. Um, and everybody just came and uh, helped me out, pushed me in the end zone. I think Tanner was in there too, uh, now that I look back at it. Uh, so it was fun uh, just knowing that, you know, we practice that every day. Uh, it's called 78%. So just knowing that we can take that from practice and put it on the field, it, it felt very good doing it. As it was happening, did you realize that that's kind of how the play was unfolding? And then when you watched it later on film, did you have an idea that it was that involved with just about every guy on the field? Yeah. Uh, so when I was actually in a play, I got lifted off my feet and I was actually faced towards the sideline. So, you know, I can see me, uh, you know, gliding into the end zone very uh, slowly. So, you know, that was that was kind of cool. And then just going back, getting on an airplane and watching it from the sideline view and seeing how everybody, you know, left their blocks to come to the pile and push it in. Uh, I believe all 11 guys was in the pile at one point of time. So, you know, that's, that's very cool. Just knowing that everybody got your back and, uh, you know, it, it, it meant a lot for everybody to get that touchdown. You've talked to, and your coaches talked a lot about your attitude from when you got to campus, uh, you were a scout team player and you came to the practice every day, worked hard, had a great attitude paid your dues. You got your chance as a freshman, 1100 plus yards. And then Rodney and Shannon were healthy as a sophomore. And you kind of had to take another step sideways just to let, you know, be part of that, uh, that really good backfield as a combo back. And now um, here you are kind of being the featured back again. Take me through that journey of, uh, uh, of knowing that at some point um, you're not the, the guy, uh, but you're working to be the guy. And now in these last two weeks as the guy, you're, you know, over 500 or almost 500 yards rushing. Um, I think the biggest thing that you can take from that is just knowing your role, um, you know, just getting on campus. Uh, I didn't know the difference between, you know, playing and not playing. So, you know, just being on campus in uh, that first year uh, behind four or five great running backs and getting put on scout team, um, understanding that my role was to play scout team, give the defense the best look I could possibly give. Um, and then from that role, from that role, uh, going to the next year, being behind Rodney um, and understanding that, you know, when Rodney goes down, I can't miss a beat. And then when Rodney gets hurt, you know, it's just everything just goes on your plate. Um, so now, you know, you're, you're preparing 
how Rodney would prepare, you know, taking uh, clues from Rodney, Rodney's helping you out, stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, have a, have a good year, have a thousand yard season that year. Um, and then that next year, everybody comes back, me, Rodney, Shannon, uh, Bryce, you know, we all come back and now understanding your role in that part and understanding that, uh, you know, you may not be the best player in the room, uh, but everybody has that role in that room. Everybody's, uh, had a role in that game plan. And, you know, my game plan was to, you know, do my part, uh, when my number was called, uh, don't miss a, a, a step. Um, and, you know, took it one game at a time. Um, you know, I supported Rodney, I supported Shannon. Um, and, you know, it, I think, I think that was the best year for me. Uh, that's the year that I had my best details, you know, just competing with them. Uh, we was playing at high, high, high levels, um, stuff like that. And then this year, you know, with Rodney and Shannon gone, uh, I have a new role of being the leader, being the guy, uh, you know, teaching the young guys, you know, what to do and how to do it. And then you've seen flashes of it with Trey and, uh, and Cam, uh, Bryce come back this week. So, you know, just having that role of uh, being the leader and being the guy to go to, and now people are coming up to you for questions and stuff like that. So um, just knowing your role in every year and how it defers uh, every year. And now you started the season as a team 0-2. How big was it? And I know it's process. And I know Coach talks about whether you win or lose, it's, it's, it's the how, and it's how you get there. But human nature has to, to me, factor in at some point that a win is nice. And this week in practice is going to be a little more energy. And obviously when the Hawkeyes come to town, there's always going to be energy. But how important was it to get a win and get just a little bit of a paycheck uh, on the hard work that you guys have all put in? Yeah, um, you know, we take it one day at a time. Uh, you know, after that game, you know, we it was a different energy in that locker room. Um, you know, but then after yesterday, you know, we we cleaned the board and now we're ready for Iowa. Uh, you know, we're game planning them right now. And then, um, you know, we're going to know more about them this afternoon. But uh, Iowa, Iowa's a great team, so we can't just sit here and dwell on the win and stuff like that. So, you know, we have to move on. Um, you know, the win was great, but now it's Iowa week. And, uh, we're getting ready for that. As a guy from Maryland, um, how much now in uh, your time with the program have you learned how important that rivalry is and Floyd of Rosedale and the fact that, let's face it, they've gotten you, you know, the years you've been here and you have a chance now to, to get that first win against the, the, the black and gold from the South. What, uh, how important is that this Friday night to, to go get that pig? Uh, it's, it's, it's very important. Um, but, you know, every team is his own team. Uh, you know, this 2020 team is different from 2019's team, um, but we can we can learn from what we what happened in the past and stuff like that. So, um, you know, we're taking it one day at a time. Uh, when the time comes, we'll be ready. And uh, last question for you um, this week, your coach talked about how the offense, how you're such a leader that he can see the offensive line uh, is motivated to do well because they like you. They take your lead, and I'm sure you like to run well behind them because you know they're working hard. How is that relationship between a running back and an offensive line? And we're even seeing it here professionally. Dalvin Cook yesterday talked about uh, the, the fact that he wants his – I mean, I suppose if you could let him do it like they do in the NFL, he hands the ball to his lineman or his fullback to, to spike it. And <laughs> that relationship's pretty important, isn't it, between the line and the, and the running back? Uh, yes, it is. Um, you know, you, you never they never give the offensive line credit uh, when it's due. Uh, you know, they always give it to one person if it's the quarterback, the running back, wide receivers and stuff like that. So, you know, they do most of the work down there in the uh, in the trenches. So, uh, you know, it's fun just 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 interacting with them after touchdowns uh, when they get to the sideline and stuff like that. So, you know, I give them credit every time. Um, you know, I couldn't do nothing without them. So, uh it's very rare for me just not to show them love. Uh, I always show them love. So, you know, uh, you know, they, they do everything for me. Even in that clip, you can see all five of them push me up, uh, help me up, you know, anything like that. So I love my offensive line. Uh, I, I show them the most attention. Uh, Coach Burns even get mad at me at some points because I'm messing with them and not uh, listening to his coaching. So, uh, you know, it's fun just be out there, just being out there with them. They all have different personalities. So once you get to know them, and you, you'll love them just like me. Well, keep up the good work. It's been fun watching, certainly, and especially these last two weeks. And uh, let's go get the Hawkeyes on Friday night. Thank you. Thank you for having me.
All right, he's the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week, Muhammad Ibrahim, and that's been Gopher Talk presented by Affinity Plus Federal Credit Union, committed to the safety of their members, employees, and communities during this time. Learn more at affinityplus.org. That's Gopher Talk. Gopher fans.